Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we will start with the broadcast section that's got no embargo, followed by an embargo section. Uh, as always, no live tweeting during the broadcast section, please. Um, and phones on silent after last week, please. Um, we'll start with team news from Sky and then ask for a maximum of two questions per person to get through as many as we can in the time we have. Jamie. Very good, thank you. Can I uh, ask you, first of all, about the team news? Hugo aside, is everyone else available? Yeah, everyone else uh, is available for the next game. We are all disappointed about Hugo and uh, he's injured. But, however, we have a, a good experienced goalkeeper like Fraser Foster with a, a great experience in Premier League and a, a good experience in uh, Champions League. So we have a, a tough uh, uh, five weeks in front of us uh, with uh, Fraser, we trust in Fraser, so we are happy to play with with him in the squad. And also, we we say we say to Hugo, see you soon again because uh, he need a, a good recovery. He need uh, maybe between five seven weeks to to be back with us. In some ways, is it maybe a good thing for Hugo? He has made a couple of mistakes recently. He himself has said that he's maybe not as mentally sharp as he should be after the World Cup. Can it be a good thing that he comes back mentally refreshed as well as physically refreshed? No, it was better to have uh, Hugo with us. All the keeper made some mistakes sometimes. And it's not good to have an injured. And I think... Uh, uh, we cannot say this. We prefer to have Hugo with us. So that's it. But uh, he could use this time to be to recover also mentally if uh, he had a, a heavy moment after the World Cup. But uh, Hugo was recovering well. He played uh, the last game, last games uh, very well. So it was a. Uh, was a good moment for him. He recovered from the World Cup uh, completely. So, that's it. And on the subject of recovering well, how is Antonio and will he be taking the team on Saturday? Antonio is back. This morning was uh, into the pitch uh, with us. He has to take it easy for a bit. But, uh, and we are so, we were so happy to meet him uh, again in the training ground, the player. He spent time to hug uh, everyone into the training ground. And uh, we didn't speak about uh, uh, his, uh, what he, he will do in, in the next match, but uh, he's back and we are happy for that. And we have time to arrive uh, to, the, to the game uh, uh, ready also with Antonio. And you've reminded him that you've got a 100% record. <laughs> no, never. Never I, I spoke about this because uh, it's only a joke. Yeah. It's only a joke. Thank you. Lindsay? Speaking about Hugo's absence, it's obviously an opportunity for Fraser as well. Um, different goalkeepers, different styles. What is it you like about Fraser's goalkeeping? First thing, I like Fraser. Like a like a man because he is a is a very good man. His behavior uh, in this season is was perfect. So every day he push himself to train hard, but really hard. And in with this behavior, he push also Hugo to train very hard. So he's a is a is a great man before to be a, a great uh, goalkeeper because we don't have to. Uh, to forget that uh, we have men before we have player and uh, Fraser I like Fraser uh, the difference between uh, Hugo is uh, we start uh, to think about uh, physically is a keeper perfect for the premier league uh, style for the type of game uh, we we are going to play in premier league he use uh, both uh, both uh, uh, fit when he play with the ball so uh, it, it will be interesting to see him uh, for uh, uh, some weeks to play with us uh, and 
uh, we trust in him. We completely trust in him. There are some games that can be catalysts for the rest of the season. Is that how you're reflecting, especially as well with what Harry Kane achieved too on the Manchester City result? Yes, there are there are sometimes a game, uh, and we spoke before the last game. Uh, if you reach and you win this type of a game, you can create a, a good momentum in in the season. But to do this, uh, you have to win the next and the next and the next again. And to do this, uh, you have to work uh, well, to be well prepared and uh, play with humility and don't lose uh, this, this aspect because uh, what changed uh, in our mind in the last period is uh, uh, the way we approach in the game. And we have to continue in this way, but to do that, we have to look uh, in between of us and uh, understand why we change. This is the most important thing. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank Ian? Hi, Christian. How are you? Fine, thank um, you. With Saturday in mind, and maybe, maybe Antonio coming back, maybe not coming back, how much was last weekend your tactics, your game plan, or how much input did he have so therefore this weekend will be exactly the same as last weekend, just a different person standing on the touchline? But we, we knew very well uh, the way um, that City used to play, to keep possession, to do many passes. And we expect this type of game. We were aggressive in the first game uh, in their stadium. We were so aggressive. And we prepared the game uh, to be aggressive again. City surprised us uh, a bit in the start uh, using uh, Bernardo Silva in between two strikers between the line, like number 10 uh, with two striker, But we adapt immediately our pressure and our behavior. But I think that uh, is not the most important thing. The most important thing is play with humility, be ready to suffer, and we prepare the game to suffer, and be active in the game. And this was uh, the best thing we show in this game. Uh, we, many times, we push them back with the ball and to don't uh, consider line breaks. And this was uh, the, best, uh, the best thing we did uh, in the last game. We prepared this type of game. We, we reach our target and we won the game being aggressive. And this is very, was very important. But how much were they your tactics, your personal ones, or was it a combination of you? No, our tactic uh, uh, came from the job that Antonio did for a long time. Uh, for me, it was easy to continue to continue to to work in the same. Uh, in the you can change something, and we change something. I, uh, my, me and Ryan Mason, not because uh, I am here. I'm speaking only about me. Also, Ryan, we spoke immediately during the game. We have to change something, and we use Eric Dyer to be aggressive on Bernardo Silva. This was tactically the the aspect, the only aspect we changed. But normally we work, uh, continue and follow what Antonio did since uh, he was uh, he was in charge. So uh, the last week was tough, but we we work well, we work uh, very well. And lastly, how much did you enjoy being the manager? <laughs> I I enjoy. A lot. I enjoy a lot, but uh, uh, and we take uh, more responsibility. But uh, is a is a job we do with passion and being a manager, live uh, this type of experience was good uh, for me, but also for all the staff because uh, all the staff was in charge uh, to work uh, with me. Cool. Ali, um, you talk about aggression there. Obviously, you won Christian Romero. Uh, for this match, he's now, I think it's six yellow cards in his last six games. How do you stop him crossing that line but keep the aggression, which clearly is a part of his game as well? Yeah, have to don't consider a yellow card that you have to arrive on the ball and, and use your tackle in the right time. So we can work on the timing. He has to jump, he has to tackle and uh, try to win, uh, uh, to win the ball. We will work. Uh, into this aspect, 
keeping the same aggressiveness. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've had now two, it's two weeks almost to work with Pedro Poro. I mean, what have you seen from him and what can you bring? He can bring a, um, very good skill, he can bring experience. He's a, he's a young player with a great experience and technically he's a, he's a fantastic player. Uh, his enthusiasm to, to play in a new league, in a new team, could be a boost uh, for us when, he, when we decide to use him. Thank you. Jack? Hi, Christian. Um, you talked about how against Manchester City, Eric Dyer would step forward into midfield when Tottenham didn't have the ball. Was that just a, a one-off for that, that occasion, or is this something we will see more of? No, it was... Uh, in that moment, we need to use it, and we use it in a moment. If it uh, will happen again, uh, maybe we could use, but uh, we had the uh, other solution to try to to play in that game. Uh, we thought that was uh, the, the right solution, and we use it. But it's not the only one. Eric obviously had a pretty, very difficult spell before the World Cup, but against Manchester City, it looked like his best game for a long time. Do you feel that with him and maybe some of the other players, some of the confidence is starting to return? Yeah, it's not a return. Eric Dyer was uh, with us, like I said about uh, the keeper. Everyone can have has some moment uh, with uh, with problem. They are men before they are they are not robot. So uh, this season is particular, and for many teams is particular. We are not the only team that sometimes uh, uh, the performance of some player can drop a bit because it's normal. They are not a robot. So Eric Dyer is back. Eric Dyer played uh, some great game because it was not only this game, he played very well. Also in Manchester, he played a, a great game. And in Fulham, he played a great game. So it's, it's a bit time that uh, Eric Dyer is back. Thanks, Jack. Okay, yeah, James, performance. finish this section with George after that, please. There's been a lot of speculation about Antonio's future and what might happen next season, his contract. Whatever happened with him, I assume, will have an effect on, on you. And I just wondered if you two had ever talked about that, if that was something that you had discussed. No, we never talk about that because uh, I maybe I said uh, one time, and we are so focused on the moment and the next game, the next training, the next uh, step we have to do it, uh, next solution we have to try to to create and to build uh, in the team. So we never, we have never speak about, spoken about this. Is it not difficult for you though to not know whether you are... Having for who? For me? For you, yeah. I just want no. to, on a personal level, if you're all sort of relaxed about that situation. In, uh, in football, you cannot be relaxed. If you have a contract, or if you, if you don't have a contract, it's not uh, never. You can be relaxed. You have to work hard. And uh, uh, when you approach uh, on the next uh, game you have, uh, you cannot be relaxed. You leave this uh, like uh, with energy because you want to win. So uh, you don't have time to sp to talk about the future. This is our life. This is football. This is sports. You think about the next uh, uh, target you have to achieve. The next, uh, what you want to to achieve is uh, is only about this. So, and you are not relaxed uh, because you have a contract. Okay, finish with George, please. Hi, Christian. Um, uh, you've also got Leicester on Saturday, but you've also got the AC Milan game on Tuesday. Do you have to consider the AC Milan game when you do selection for this weekend, or is it completely just the first one? Yeah, maybe we have to consider also uh, next week is a, is a week that we have to play three games. So you have to think about all the week. And so AC Milan uh, is a game that we play in this week. Uh, and then uh, we have another tough game uh, at home against uh, West Ham. And so, yes, of course, you think about this. But the most important thing is the next one, next step, step by step, we try to, and we pick up every time the team that we think is the best team to win. 
the next game and to prepare the team for all the week. Just one for me, the team will be playing Leicester tomorrow. Um, the women's team will be able to play at the stadium on Sunday against Man United. Um, I guess it's going to be a great occasion for them. And you're hoping that like, you guys can get against the Manchester team last week and they can, they can beat your Manchester team this week. Yeah, we wish, uh, we wish them all the best. Is a uh, is an important game that they play at, at our stadium, and uh, we expect uh, thirty thousand people, if it's possible, plus one, because I would like to go with them to to feel. Uh, and I met uh, part of uh, their staff sometimes, and uh, I can feel uh, the passion they use uh, in their job uh, and the the passion they. They used to try to be better every day. You can feel this. They transfer to me uh, a lot of uh, passion. And I enjoy to talk with, with them about uh, football, about uh, their experience. So I would like to to be at the stadium to watch their, their game. Perfect. OK, we'll end the, uh, the broadcast section there. Please move on to the embargoed section. We'll start with the 12 o'clock embargo for the standard. <laughs>